today I'm going to take some time to talk to you about this wonderful stained glass icon we have here to my side. It is of Nan O'Nagel. So to give you a little bit of the background, this icon was commissioned by the Presentation Sisters ahead of the bicentenary of Nano's death in 1984. It's by the artist Desmond Klein. And when the artist was asked to create this work, he wanted to create a work that would portray a woman that was, as he said himself, truly magnificent and remarkable woman out of Ireland. So how he has done this is using symbolism, strong, vibrant colors, and in addition to the main panel pictures, we also have two side panels giving different um, extracts, different insights of Nano's story. At the very top, we have a spiral. This pattern is repeated again later. And the spiral was a symbol of God in Celtic um, mythology and Celtic stories, also of eternity. The next symbol that we have is of the Sacred Heart. The Sacred Heart was a cause and a belief very central to Nana's life. We have a very calm, serene, young Nano looking out at us. In the top half of the panel, we have the countryside, the blue river of the black water, and a little castle to the side, signifying Nano's home, childhood home in the black water, Ballygriffin. Coming to the next part of the panel, we have the symbolization of the North Gate and the South Gate of Cork City, as well as the children at Nano's feet. And these symbolize Nano's work and ministry, teaching and educating the poor of Cork City. If I go now to some of the panels at the side, we have at the very top, what I think it is fair to say is a very crowded and cramped schoolroom. Teaching and the education of children was very central to Nana's belief. Looking at that classroom, we can just about see in the background a very, very small school window. Coming further down is a reminder of the time and circumstances that Nana was working in. She was working in a time where the penal laws were in place. And what this means is, if you were a Catholic practicing a religion, or if you were teaching Catholic children, you face two potentials, exile or death. So a stark reminder of the consequences of Na Nano's work. Coming further down, we have Uncle Joseph. Uncle Joseph was a key influence in Nano's life. He was a friend, a mentor, an advisor. He was also legally trained, so he could help Nano to negotiate the laws and the rules of the time. He also was a wealthy man and his, his wealth was utilised for the schools and also later for the foundation of the convent. Now, when I'm talking about this panel, I bring the next two pictures that we can see. Nano, Nano talking to the lady and Nano coming home with the lantern together. Because these very much symbolise an ex-core belief of Nano's, which was to visit the sick and the dying. It is said of Nano that she knew every tenement and lane in Cork City. And she used to visit with people quite late into the day, which is why she's called the Lady of the Lantern, because she lit her own way home with the lantern. I'm now going to bring you to the right-hand side, the panel on the right-hand side, and the central picture here, where we have four women. And these four women symbolize the four women that joined Nano Christmas Eve 1775 to found what later became known as the Presentation Sisters. Looking at this panel in great detail, you'll see a little acorn. And it does truly show that out of this little acorn, Christmas Eve 1775, the Presentation Sisters have grown to the international order that they are today.